Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 145, verse 4. One generation shall praise your works together to another and shall declare your mighty acts. And that's the way it's supposed to be. That's, that's the way it works. That's the way it should work. When parents love and appreciate Christ, they will pass that on to their children. And there have always been, some, in some families in the world, that have done that. They might be in a minority. I'm sure they're in a minority. But they're there. Verse 5, I will speak of the glorious honor of your majesty and of your wondrous works. In other words, I'm going to keep thinking about the amazing things you do, and I'm going to keep talking about them. Now, doing that certainly may not make our circumstances the way we would like them to be, but it will keep us from despair when circumstances are not good. Offer God a sacrifice of praise. And praise is a sacrifice when our circumstances are not good and our feelings just are not in it. So what? When your feelings are not in it, offer God praise anyway because he understands you're not doing it because everything is just exactly fun and games. You're doing it in spite of how you feel. It's a sacrifice of praise, and God appreciates that. Verse 6, And men shall speak of the might of your terrible acts or awesome acts and will declare your greatness god is famous for all that he has done like creating everything now not everyone gives him credit that he deserves nowadays but so those of us who he has not only created but has redeemed should give him that credit because very few relatively speaking will and if we don't, who will? And he deserves it, you see. Seven. They shall abundantly utter the memory of your goodness and shall sing of your righteousness. When people remember God, they remember the good things that he has done. They sing about his kindness and how he is always right. There may be some who are bitter toward God because they figure he should not have let something bad happen in their life. And they're bitter against God because something bad happened to them or somebody that they care about. But God didn't create robots who are pre-programmed to do good. So their bitterness is directed in the wrong direction. It should be directing at the bad people who cause bad things to happen so often. Verse 8, the Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. And that is why he is long-suffering towards sinners. God puts up with sin, which is something that he absolutely abhors. But he puts up with sin in order to give the sinner Time to repent and be forgiven. Instead of killing us and eliminating his big headache, he puts up with us to give us more chances to repent. Some people overlook that aspect of God's love. But it's there. And he exercises it all the time. <clears throat> to study the whole Bible with me, you you can go to the Scripture Verse by Verse website, and that's found at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through the whole Bible verse by verse. To be a part of this ministry, pray for me and God's Word. That makes you a part of Scripture Verse by Verse immediately. Also, go to the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com. Click the Donate button and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. See you next time on Coffee Break.